So, um, I need to say sorry for not posting the last two days after saying I am gonna do a daily vlog. I'll talk about that in a minute. But on the brighter side, studio is coming along. Finally got a TV up in here with just one seating arrangement. Got the desk fully built. That chair is Leah's and that's her stuff. She's been using it until the time being, until we're actually in here and she can use her desk. So yeah, it's uh, worked out pretty good. It's coming along. The next thing I have to do is get the backdrops installed for flight apparel photo shoots. So it'll be nice to have a lot more depth to be able to you know, get some really good, maybe like action shots or whatever. Bella, what do you think? What do you think? You got your big surgery tomorrow? Huh? You got your big surgery? So I have a lot to catch you guys up on. Um, since I've embraced this daily vlog ordeal, at least for the last week, the reason why I missed the last couple days is because uh, life got really hectic and I basically had just a mental breakdown, uh, which doesn't ever happen. And it did. And I'm just going to be a lot more transparent because I am embracing the daily vlog and you guys are just gonna learn more about what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. So we were finally supposed to get in this place a couple days ago, and we had the power lines were supposed to get buried, so we were about to get electricity and gas, and just no one showed up. So I spent five, six hours on the phone with customer service, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the biggest thing is, is over the last week and a half, um, a disease has kind of unveiled itself with Bella. Um, it's called Von Willebrand's disease and she's very low factor, which means very high risk. And essentially she doesn't clot blood so she can bleed out very, very easily from just the smallest incision. And it's, it's very scary and we've mainly have just become so attached with Bella and we love her so much and it just like puts us in tears thinking about it. And she has her spaying surgery tomorrow. We've gone with the route of doing laparoscopic procedure, which is essentially just a very, very small incision, and then go in with cameras and pull out the ovaries. It's still very, very scary, and there is a chance that she cannot make it. Um, the reason why, I know a lot of people are gonna say, why spay her at all? It's because if we don't do the surgery now, it leaves the option and potential for cancers down the road and them having to cut her open as she's older, which puts her at even higher risk of bleeding out. So um, we've gotten so many different opinions, so many different vets, surgeons. Um, it is extremely, extremely expensive to do the laparoscopic procedure. So it's just been very stressful. And yeah, we drop her off tomorrow morning and that's really just kind of me and Leah both broke down yesterday. It's very scary. Um, we've just been hanging out with her as much as possible. And it freaking makes me emotional. I Thank get that. Thanks, Siri. But it just makes me freaking super emotional thinking about it. Like, look how cute this, cute this girl is right here. She's absolutely just been our life, especially since quarantine has started. You know, we've spent every single day with this girl. And yeah, she's just, she's our daughter, you know? So yeah, and of course with the house, us not being able to move in, it's made things even more difficult. Yeah, now I'm just complaining, so I just want to say I am, I'm sorry why I didn't post the last two days, and that's what's going on in my life. So let's try and make this vlog better. On a brighter note, I got the squat rack finished. This thing was a huge pain in my butt. Not only did I go to Lowe's and get the wrong attachment to be able to screw these freaking bolts in, but I rolled my ankle so bad putting this together by myself because this is actually pretty, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's, it's pretty wide apart and having to hold it together and then try and get this pull-up bar and then that support bar, it was a nightmare. The one good thing about getting the squat rack together in the last two days is I can finally work out because I go to Cabo in exactly 12 days. So I gotta get my butt back in shape. Got a few flight orders to pack. Well, it's your last night here while, uh, while you're fully intact.
I got surgery tomorrow morning. Poor baby has no idea what's coming tomorrow. 12 hours we're dropping her off at the surgery place for her laparoscopic spay. So we're just having a family night tonight. You know, we're about to close out the vlog. What's for dinner? Little sweet potatoes and? Brussels sprouts and chicken. Very mm -hmm. healthy. Yeah, the only way I'll ever eat Brussels sprouts is if they're baked in the oven. So but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Um, the best sweet potato recipe possible is diced sweet potatoes like this, cinnamon, sugar, and coconut oil. And you just kind of char them up a little bit. No butter. No butter. No, this one always adds butter to everything. That's what coconut oil is for. So try it. I promise you it's the best thing ever. We're summer shredding in October. Yeah, we're, I'm trying to, as I mentioned earlier, slim down a little bit before Cabo. We only got 12 days, so we're doing our best. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe. We're daily vlogging-ish. I missed two days, but I explained why. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.